Hey, today's Veda prompt is something about the most adventurous thing you've done. The most adventurous thing I've done to date is probably going on the nine week road trip that we talk about randomly throughout our videos, but that's already all documented on this channel. You can go and check that out. So I'm gonna talk about something else adventurous from my past. And that was when I lived in China as a teenager. I just so happened to be going through old pictures today. So this was our bathroom. This was our washing machine here that we would hook up when we needed to use it. As you can see, it's super high tech. This was another bathroom that we had later. This is the shower version of the bathroom. And this is the toilet version of the bathroom. So our legs just really didn't have the muscles for these squatty potties as we called them. <laughs> Behind the apartment where we lived on a college campus, there was the back of a restaurant. And so these workers would come out uh, on their lunch breaks and stuff and play with us kids. We would play badminton. We could talk to them through our window. They were really good at food art. This was back before the age of digital cameras where you could see how your pictures turned out beforehand. Clearly this was not focused properly, but they made me this cool little, it was these, like these branches, the cool little carrot bird. It was made out of a carrot, it looked really neat. And some flowers made out of radishes. And so to thank them, I drew them this picture of their creation. Can't see it too well. That was my Chinese name right there, He Lu Yan. And there's just a closer up. I also did a little bit of Chinese painting. I think this was one maybe that was featured in a newspaper there. I really enjoy Chinese painting, honestly. I would love to do some more of that. I actually did take some art classes while I was there. There's me, the really white one. Beside me is my Chinese teacher and then my art teacher right there. I was just learning some basic art stuff in this class. So since we were some of the only foreigners in the whole city of about a million, we we're sort of like mini celebrities in a sense. I mean, that's kind of how it felt when you would go out. People would stare, watch you, and gather around. And so it was kind of interesting. We got invited to a lot of stuff like random weddings. They have pretty interesting wedding ceremonies. They always have these uh, fireworks going off. We also ate so many banquets. This was actually just a normal sort of meal with friends, but it reminded me of how many banquets we ate. Being foreigners, we were the guests of honor, and so we'd have to taste the food first. And there was often quite a lot of things that I didn't want to eat. This, you can see, there is a fish a whole fish here in the middle of the table. Can't see it that well. And it wasn't one of the ones that was still moving. So <laughs> there was a lot of eating involved really. We would also go on picnics and stuff. It looks like we took our bikes to this particular one. We'd also sometimes take picnics to the park, which actually ended up being a bit of a spectacle. Okay, let's see. Drinks, bread, tomatoes. We were probably having tomato sandwiches. I don't know what I'm laughing about, but uh, it might have been the fact that people would gather around and just in a circle and just stand there and watch us eat. So like I said, kind of a spectacle. This I remember pretty well. It was the time we went out to the countryside and had a picnic with a bunch of my mom's English students. This was not the time that I had my first beer, but I did have my first beer there um, and so did my 12 year old brother and my 8 year old brother. We one time went to the beach and for some reason there was just no water available, literally, and all the students had along with them was beer. So. My brothers and I each got our own can of beer. Can't say it quenched, quenched our thirst at all. Also didn't really make me hanker for any more of it. I would hang out with college kids a lot since we live on a college campus. This is one of my best friends there. This is in a movie rental place. They just had like little tiny cards with the movies on them rather than actual cases. It didn't occur to me until now, but I guess maybe that was because they were pirated. But most of them were Chinese movies. Well, I guess they can pirate Chinese movies as well as English movies. I don't know. So more about me hanging out with college kids. We would go to clubs a lot and bars and whatnot. No, I was not old enough to be doing that really, but we had a lot of fun. I didn't really get into too much trouble. We'd go dancing and stuff. Also roller skating. The places that we were in were so dark that I didn't realize until after I got this picture back that where I was sitting was really dusty. And taking pictures with people was really, really common. People would request for us to take pictures with them. And honestly, I don't even know who these two people were. I don't know why they need a picture with me. Um, and clearly uh, they weren't like super excited. I don't understand, like they're not smiling. I don't know if it just caught them at a bad time. I don't know, but <laughs> what? Speaking of people, I don't know why we took pictures with. There's this random guy that we ran across. Apparently he was a basketball player. I don't know if my brother and I thought that was impressive or something that really stood out to me is, okay, I believe this girl's name was Monica. She was still in high school. I think she was maybe a junior or senior in high school and she was celebrating her birthday. And so she invited us over. All we did for her birthday was sit around, 
and eat and watch TV. And her and her brother were so overjoyed to be able to do that because the majority of the time they just have to be studying. That's all kids do really is study from like seven in the morning till seven at night. No joke. Well, at least that's how it was at the time. That was a while ago. Another thing that we did all the time was karaoke. So much karaoke. And then one time we went on a little cruise. There's my mom looking a little bit confused. There is the cruise ship that we went on. Oh, and there's me. I didn't even notice until now. There's more of the boat that we went on. This is not exactly American cruise ship standards, but it was fun. Oh, there was so much good food. I can just taste these cucumbers right now. They are so delicious. As you can see, we got like four plates of them very windy obviously. I don't really think my bottom half was so disproportionate to my top half. I think I just had really huge pants. Funny thing is that Titanic was really big right then. It had just come out. So of course we had to do a little bit of that shot. So many memories. It was such a fun time. The first six months was pretty crappy for me um, just because I was uprooted at the time in my life that I was which was teenage years. Like being with friends is a big deal. But after the first six months, I loved it so much. And that food, oh my word, I could... Anyway, that's one of the most adventurous things that I've done. I should probably get back to doing more adventurous things, huh? Tell us in the comments below, what are some of the most adventurous things you've done? I would love to know. I don't know, I don't know if you remember or if you knew, but we brought a bunch of stuff down here with us to scan and then burn, basically. Not take back home with us, that's for sure. The stuff from like a filing cabinet that we had had. Also like boxes of pictures from a closet. Basically, we're just digitizing everything. We had started this process somewhat back home, but we didn't get it done like we wanted to before we came. So we said, hey, we'll just bring it down and trash it. We're actually gonna pay my brother a tiny amount to do it, a lot of it for us because he has a little bit of time and we don't really. This is the pile of stuff. We'll see. I keep hearing some screaming out here. Gotta see what's going on. They both got super freaked out. Because it feels fast, huh? Because it's such a short little range. <laughs> That's what we used to do when we were kids. You guys better have a tight grip on there. <laughs> this is happening right now. So right, Francis? Good. Did you try again? It's olla de carne, and this is a traditional Costa Rican, Costa Rican dish. Mm. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Have one. <laughs> Those hats are a little big for you guys. <laughs> hey, don't jump around. I believe that I failed to mention